slightly out of position. There we go. How are we doing? Hope we're doing well. Um, I just look at what start I want to do. I've got a wiki up on the side because I'm gonna have a quick like glance at kind of what we get. I want to do a start I've never done before. Oh, actually, what if we try doing the Augurin campaign? Try to do all the uh, campaign flashpoints. What do you start with as them? I don't really mind. It's just kind of curious. Is the art class is periphery? Yeah, so we get the usual free and then the periphery light, periphery medium. Let me say hello, wobble, 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 for the commercial start. Yeah, when you first join the stream, sadly, it does automatically run an ad. How's it going, Kenneth? I'm going to go Ogren. The downside to this is I'm a million miles away from clan. But I am kind of want to do this. Oh, that means I'm finding a lot of periphery, though. I guess that's all right. Buildings only. So quick. So then yet another commercial. Let's go, Asian. Yeah, I'm thinking Augur. I'm thinking the periphery start might be kind of cool. I want to put. I don't know how fast this fastest because this. This only changes how fast your mechs are built. Sure, it technically makes the game easier, but I'd rather play my new mechs faster. So, you know, it is what it is. Everything else, I think I'm okay with. Oh, contract variance to one. We are on planet planetary difficulty. <clears throat> it's not faster mech repair. Armor speed is repair. This is anything that, that is like changing weapons, changing engine, changing internals. Like, kind of when you build a mech from scratch or when you're changing stuff. This is repairs. Like, armor is your repairs, basically. I guess if you get an arm blown off, it will be affected by this. Um, but for the most part, it's just building mechs. It makes that faster. From what I'm aware, I could be wrong. If it ends up being too quick, I can still change it in-game. Now, if it ends up being too ridiculous, I could just change it. But I just want to be able to, you know, try out more mechs, kind of run through shit. Um, otherwise, I think we'll go with that. That seems alright to me. I do buildings only because I don't like stray shots. People know that at this point. How's it going anyway, Shin? And Kenneth. Okay, let's get this commander up and going. Uh, I always do the usual. Uh, we're going to go back with Lieutenant Woofer. And he is a good boy. And the reason it's a he is because we use... <laughs> Crazy. I mean, like... I apologize for Oddball's voice. I do have voices turned off because it's just... I find a lot of them pretty weird. Although I do love Duncan. we got to do our boy Raiju. He got done dirty. So, you know, we've we got to bring him back. Um, Right. So, if we are the Orgrin... Deep Periphery. Yeah, let's kind of like role play it up a little bit. So we'd be deep periphery. 
with Gambler kind of makes sense, Loner kind of makes sense. I kind of like the Loner. Assassin, I think, is clustering. Or is that cold shot accurate? I can't never remember. And Inheritor would be kind of cool. The problem is they always suck. Lucky and Noble. Lucky's pretty good. Noble, I don't think does much. You know what? I'm going to, yeah, let's go Inheritor. Inheritor normally sucks, so this could be quite cool. Yeah, he's a noble doggy. Yeah, the, the rare mechs usually suck. Okay, right. So, first things first. I always do power supplies first, because I always forget to do it otherwise. Let's check our barracks. Ooh, okay. We got Mr. Duncan himself. Avoid... Wait, I thought drunk made you panic a check. Oh, cool, they changed that one up. Oh, no, it's um Klutz that does that. Okay, but well, we got our melee pilot. Uh, Reckless. That's... Okay, not the worst. Could be a long-range sniper. My experience... Okay, pretty good. Another gladiator. There's Woofer. Another gladiator. Military, that's good. Military. Okay, actually some really good pilots. Uh... We, we, we got the man himself. Uh, yeah, that's definitely going melee. Glam. Sniper. I'm going to do my usual, which is gunnery tactics, because the early game plus one to tactics is way too good, to say the least. Extra gunnery is just always good early game. I guess there's an argument for piloting, but... I'd rather do this, even for the commander. It's everybody on the same start line, apart from Duncan, who's ahead of everyone, which is fine with me. Um, who's going to be our tanker, actually? Recoil reduction... I say, yeah, giving someone who has military to a tank might not be the worst way to go. Yes, yes he is. Oh, it's good high. No, wait, I've got to change that. I misspelled. Hold on. There we go. Fixed. Lieutenant Woofer is a good boy. How's it going, Tanker? Okay, so we've got an AC-20 Saladin in the store. Federated as well. And he's got a Breaching FC. That's an interesting combo. You have a dog driving a tank. He's not driving a tank, he's driving a mech. It's worse. Uh, Exchanger is very cool. Alright, let's check what we got. We got Quasimodo! Quasimodo! 
What the fuck? Um... Streamer luck is real. You say streamer luck, it's a hyper laser. Uh, this has a flat twenty percent to misfire. How many times can this misfire before it breaks? People got radical heat sinks. Holy shit. The radical doubles. Fuck. Okay. How many times can this misfire before it breaks? It's got four crit slots, so I'm assuming four times, but I'm not sure if that's true. Um, yes, but not a lot. Um, right. How can I fix this up a little bit? Its arm is not terrible, to be fair. I could just run it as is. I would love to tweak the armor a little bit. But I really don't know what to do with it. I don't need this. I don't think I can activate this yet. I don't, I don't think I have the piloting yet. I think I need like five piloting or six piloting to really use this. Let's take that out for now. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to probably remove this hyper laser really fucking quick. But it has four energy hard points, two missile hard This is such a good mech. This is such a good 55 tonner. Decent speed. It's got like built-in radicals. Like, this is such an insane, insane mech. Oh, well, if it was a missile, my bad, I, I miss saw. Wait, there's three missile. What the fuck's the third missile? I missed that. All right, we got the trench bucket. Another endo steel, which is good. Wait, is this the melee one? What the fuck is this? This is actually kind of cool. I can get behind. Wait, you see periphery? It's got fucking endo steel. Wow, Rogue Tech is a different beast than Battletech. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, Rogue, Rogue Tech is, is the definition of going too far. But that's also its charm. 16 lasers? That's more than enough, right? How's it going, though, Scorched? I mean... It's, I'm out it. I like chems. I think chems are actually really underrated. So I'm okay with this. I'm a little bit worried that oh, the arm. Hmm. 
Well, the rockets are counting, aren't they? How much are these without the rockets? I could take out some pieces. So I had to go and look for BT streams. Well, welcome in, welcome in. Maybe you learned a thing or two. Well, uh, BET is Battletech Extended, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So that's uh, that's Bex. I, I I always call it Bex. I'm used to that um that term. This is very different. Uh, there's actually a lot of rulings that are very different to Bex. So things will look very different, as you can probably guess. So we've got Rocket eighty, two large cams, four, uh, two four heat sinks. This heat is technically wrong because this is accounting for the rockets. I will probably not fire all these rockets at once, and if I do, I'd be very careful to manage my heat anyway. So this is okay. This is actually a really good starting mech. Because we can convert it into a limb bot later. Holy shit, this start is insane. Oh, well, never mind, I spoke too soon. Um, We've got the Spectre. This is our ECM mech. Okay. Tactics met Bills if you want to carry over. That's fair. I'll, I'll try my best to go into as much detail as I can. My... Sorry, right, my microphone is falling. Give me a second. Why have you come undone? Probably because I moved my desk. I think we're good. Right. Yeah, so my entire microphone fell down. Uh... Oh, sorry about that. That thing's heavy. I've got to say, trying to hold, so you've got to like hold it. It's one of the boom arms. You've got to hold it at like where the boom arm kind of crosses, otherwise it flops all over the place. You've got to hold it there when tightening, like keeping it pushed down into the desk and then try twisting it. So you've got to like push down in three directions. How do you feel about new PM and King? Why does my opinion matter? Or should you stream about Battletech? Right. Um, so we've got an XL. We've got a double heatsink. This is a good Spectre. Heatsinks are obviously going out. This thing had seven? Interesting. It has intech lasers, which is pretty cool. So this thing's probably overcooled, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, overcooled to an insane degree. I could probably leave the jump jet in. Which is going to be very... I, I find that question quite, like... I, I knew that question was going to get asked. I literally had a friend not stream yesterday because of that question. Because we both knew it was coming. And it's just like, yeah, I, why does my opinion matter, first of all? And two... Show some respect. Holy shit. <laughs> and uh, I, I find that kind of... Kind of interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I guess let's call that. Oh, oh. Hmm. 
No, he was on about what's happened in the UK. What are your opinions on milk and cookies? Amazing, top tier, absolutely top notch. We're trying to Google it when click yeah. Like, I mean, show some respect, Sakumas. Like you even came in yesterday and the first thing you asked was about what's my opinion on if the queen passes away. That's extremely rude, honestly. Like not to me, but just in that's a really rude thing to like kinda say. Uh, commando, commando, commando. I don't need two tons. I just need one. But I don't think I can armor this. I would like another SRM4. Although, we do have... Okay, so we got a Toyota. We got a Toyota with mortars. It doesn't have any flares though, that's a bit of a shame. I would have liked flares. We do have Ghetto RT, yeah. Oh, we just call it a Toyota. Yes, you can you can bring vehicles in Rogue Tech, yes. You can also bring VTOLs as well. And battle armor. Yeah, we don't have any, but you can also bring battle armor. I hate battle armor though, you won't see me use them. Maybe maybe in a very small circumstance. Okay, let's see what my final mech is. Dun 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 dun! I mean, it's not bad. Oh, it's a good one. It's got a searchlight. We're in. The, we're in the clear. It's got a searchlight. Um. Okay, sorry to make commercials. No problem, Kenneth. I don't like the S the LRM. Yeah, I dropped the other M5, yeah. What's the armor from that? Pretty much perfect. That engine, though, is a bit worrisome. It's, it's actually a really good swordsman, though, overall. This is... You have an older Shadowhawk. <laughs> yeah? Okay, I can dig. Which one's the free? Is it machine guns? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it doesn't have a sword, sadly. I wish it did. It would be pretty cool. Arrow profile. I'd prefer to use the commando, but I need a spare SRM4. Tempting, tempting.
actually an early game UAV is actually kind of insane. I'm buying it. Dragon builds feels all risky. Um, their strength is getting numbers off the field. So the biggest, <clears throat> like, if your shotgun build can trade one for two, it's an automatic win. I don't mean like your guy dying, your guy running out of ammo. If he can take down two mechs, he's already in the clear. Which is why this thing would work amazingly well. Um, do I remove the four? Actually, I could remove the medium laser, but that means I've only got 10 rounds of ammo. Could remove the four. I don't want to give that to you, Ibi. Is that what I'm doing? I really wish I had an SRM4 for here. And put an SRM4 there. <clears throat> I could put the 6 in the arm. But well, that's, that's risking the arm. Let's do that. This is just for a backup mech in case I need one. And this can probably go in storage. I'll keep it there for now though. Uh, 20 days, 14, 13, 5. I don't care too much for the commando. Right. And where are we? I need to go to a half skull. No, one skull? Half skull? Let's go half skull. <clears throat> Actually, no, let's go one skull because we've got a UAB. UAB means we can take out East, uh, we can take out stealth mechs. Oh yeah, um, Scorch, if you haven't seen the map, Sorry, actually, I'll remove this so it looks nicer. Uh, this is the map for Rogue Tech. <clears throat> it goes all the way up into clan space up here. But most of this is like, there's nothing living here. Uh, this is your main map that you'll not mostly see. Uh, the vanilla game, or I think even Bex, only uses this area here. So yeah, there's um, quite a big map difference between the two. Oh, there's no one skulls in this area. There's pirates here. <clears throat> Do I want to mess about with pirates? Terran world. Oh, does, does Bex have the full map? Okay, that's awesome. I never knew Bex had it. That's really cool. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. Because the full map does add, uh, even, I mean, it doesn't change too much, but it's just like a nice, a nice feature. Pirates do have some cool stuff, but. They're super risky. And they run a lot of primitive. Uh, I do have engineering going, so let's do it. Okay, let's get our second mech club up. Let's make bay two. 
We're one day away from arriving, but we've still got all our mechs to kind of repair. Right, let's get it working at full speed. So now, we, now we're able to repair two mechs at once, once this is done. Uh, that's fine for now. Okay, what's in the store? Oh, flashpoints. Um, yes and no. Uh, they do like to drop reinforcements quite often, but not always. Okay, nothing really here. That's fine. Black market. I don't think the black market works in... Rogue Tech, from what I'm aware. Why is my stream elements doing that? That's fine. Uh, let's get the training module. We're going to have to pay our monthly bill in a second. Right, training module. Also, the enemies are also, like, the quality of enemy mechs is also higher. Right, it's closing my door. So, the average enemy mech is stronger than in, uh, let's say, like, vanilla. That should be done at roughly the same time. Uh, he wants to do the competition, right? This should give him athletic, but he might get injured. Nice. There's a chance of him getting injured, but I think he always gets athletic, which is really good. Okay. Let's get into a mission. Now the, uh, all the, like, pre... You know, start of campaign setup has been done. We can actually get into... Some stuff. Uh, we're doing the Orgrin start. Because uh, I want to give the campaign flashpoints a go. We're doing an escort to start with. Yeah, sure. You fight two or three lances. That could be quite fun. You want me for an SRM plus? That's the risk. Okay, so we get Quaz, we get Treb, we get Swordsman, we get Spectre. And then we have Tyota. Um, right, so Woofer can be in Quaz. Duncan can be in the Treb. Actually, no, wait, who's got the Evasion Ignore? You. Oh, no, I need to use these guys, though. Look, no, we started with it, actually. For some reason, the Orgarin started with a, with a Quaz. I didn't even know it was possible, but yeah, apparently that's a thing. I've got a lot of mech onlys, that's fine. Witness can go in the mortar. This is our first mission of the, uh, of the start. Uh, yeah, looks good to me. I don't know why the Ogrins have a Quasmet, uh, I have a Quasimodo Risk, but it means we get to start with a Hyperlaser, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever started a run with a Hyperlaser before. <clears throat> Do 
The chance to crit itself, I think, will be like 15% in the early game. It's going to be quite high. And then every time it crits itself, the more likely it is to crit itself. So it's like a self fulfilling prophecy in that sense. The hardest to get mech. But what's the waiting on it, actually? Hold on. Where's Orgrin? Uh, that would be, what, generic medium? Uh, yeah, it is... Joint to be the hardest. Waiting is one. Along with a Phoenix Hawk and a Marshall. Not bad. Not bad. I've never actually used a Marshall, so I, I would have been okay with a Marshall as well. All right, let's get stuck in. <clears throat> yeah, more is fine. Good. Uh, oh, I forgot to put the UAV in. Okay. <clears throat> so we are going to be having to fight freelances. My voice is going. Ah, oh, there we go. <clears throat> Where's our hyper laser? It is, yeah, 15%. 15.3. Uh, FPS is going to be fine. <clears throat> okay, more technical stuck in trees kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we are fighting three lances this mission. I've got to be a little bit careful with these rockets then, probably. Ooh, what are you seeing? A Clint. Okay. Guys aren't very fast either, which is going to suck. You keep going forward. That was loud. Okay, Spectre. What's your jump distance? About the same as you sprint. Okay. So we got Mortar Carrier, of course, to do. Power Buster. Oh. MR. Medium Rifle. Okay. Cattle Master. That's fine. The Mortar Carrier is going to be really annoying. He's like Pirate. Right. I've kind of just got to keep pushing forward, really. There's no line of sight and that mortar carrier is just going to keep, like, pounding me, really. That mortar carrier is going to definitely go off to my technical. And there's nothing I can do about it. Unless we pull out the hyper laser of a lifetime. Um... It's not affected by evasion, okay. We have no visuals, right? No visuals. Do we take the shot? It's not going to get any better for a while.
We take those. And it didn't jam. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, if you have sensors on them, um, you can still shoot in a direction. You just have a massive penalty to uh, to hit. That that was actually such a big deal that we got that kill. <laughs> like that was that was the difference of like two hundred damage to one of my mechs. Was that a hit? That that was actually kind of insane. All right, we're in range. Um, who do I like the least? Probably the Cloudbuster, honestly. The scariest thing they've got is that tank. But then again, mortaring a tank doesn't really do much. I guess we I guess we can soften up the cattle master. Twelve a twenty four. Eh, sure, why not? Okay, we got one direct, two direct. Lots of splashes. Okay, quaz. Nice. Yeah, uh, dealing with this is going to be tricky because that is a lot of armor. A lot, of, a lot, a lot of armor. I may have to resort to the rockets for it, actually. I could probably shoot two sets of rockets at that and not feel bad. Uh, you are not peeking by yourself. Uh, you can go this way, though. If you can get the back of the Clint, that'll be fine. But you're not peeking that hill by yourself. That's suicide. Yep, Clint's turning. That's fine. Yeah, Clint's going to come up this way, or he's going to run down here. Right, Quaz. Yeah, it's not like sneaky angle I can get. It's got to go forward. I've got to get onto this ridge line and then get everybody on the ridge at the same time. Uh, go that way. I'm not sure if that's traversable. It looks like it wouldn't be, but you could be surprised. Duncan Fisher here. I may turn voice lines back on. I turned them off for the time lapse recordings, but because I'm not doing that anymore, I could probably turn them back on, no problem. Why is that? Why is the end of round sound so loud? Is it just me who feels that? Like the rest of the volume is fine, and then the end of round pops up, and your ears start bleeding. I guess keep going for the Clint. Give the Spectre some support. Yeah, not by doing air burst. Maybe air burst when it was twenty four percent might have been the better option. It probably was the better option actually. Yeah, good direct. Did that seem that loud? Yeah, it might just be me then. Yeah, okay, yeah, so he's dipped that way. I kind of thought he might. Does this give me a back attack? Oh, he's just out of sight. Okay, what am I going to do then? I'm going to go like... We have a good jump, but I don't know if that's a good idea. It's probably not a good idea. What I could do, though, is sprint over here and then kind of jump up here. That could be fun. I, I don't usually use jump jets, so I'm going to try and, like, do some jump jet only maneuvers with it. Because I, w I want to wanna practice with them. I feel like I, I sleep on jump jets a bit. I don't think they're particularly great. 
but I feel like they're better than I'm giving credit for. I should. I, I kind of want to try using them more. God, my lance is so slow. Yeah, I keep moving forward, that's fine. That one is the loud one, is the one I'm referring to. Okay, luckily they're just indirect firing. They haven't hit an indirect shot yet, which is actually pretty good. I was going to say pretty big, but it doesn't really make a difference. But it's nice to just not take uh, chip damage. Lint. Perfect. Okay, that's actually kind of what I wanted you to do because we can jump jet. I could also just sprint. That's kind of what I mean. Like, why jump jet when you can just run there? You don't take stability. You take... Oh, no, actually... Don't they get a minus... Sorry, don't they get a plus three because I jump? They get a plus two if I sprint. They get a plus three if I jump. It just doesn't seem worth it. That's all just... Hmm. Either way, we're going for the back attack. Really good chance to hit. I'm not going for that. Um, it's actually worth putting this on active. Yes, it is. Because it decreases his aim as long as he's inside the circle, which is what matters. Yeah, we've got CT inside. Not in, not any clustering though, which is unfortunate. Oh, we got the leg. I thought we got CT. Oh, it's 33, not 23. Okay. Uh, go this way. More technical. I could probably just stand still. How much damage will you do to vehicles? 21. I don't think mortars do that well against vehicles, but I want to double check that. It's kind of whatever. If they were acid, it's a different story. But because they're normal, kind of suck. Yeah, he's trying to go all the way around. That's going to take him an eternity. Let's just go here. Next turn we can pick the ridge. I've got to be careful with that hyper laser. I may even not use it on this lance. Because we could probably take care of this lance without the hyper laser. I don't want to use it unless it's going to actually make a big difference. Can't get a move free and back attack, it looks like. I kind of go into the geothermal, but I don't. This thing's overcooled to an insane degree, actually. So I could go into geothermal and probably not suffer that much. I could just kind of go all in. Do I go aggressive? If I don't kill him, I'm kind of screwed, though.
Yeah, let's go aggressive. Why not? Yeah, even with the geothermal, I'm able just to go through it, no problem. Damn, lots of splash. Did it actually hit the CT? Unfortunate. Indirect fire, that's fine. That was going to happen regardless. I'm worried about this. I don't think he has jump jets, but that pirate AC5 is quite scary. I'll have to move over this way. Double medium rifle. Okay. I can only get two evasion. Man, that really does suck. Do I want a hyper laser? Let's see what the aim is. Eighty-three. It's a pretty good chance to kill. <clears throat> Overclock. What's the jam chance? Twenty-five from fifteen. Uh, double medium rifle is forty-five damage each. If they got sabo rounds, it's sixty. I've got to get rid of it. Hit the side. We got it. Yes, we didn't crit. So we've rolled 215 so far. No, we, we haven't rolled 215s. Man, Hyperlaser with x combo is nasty. Where after the Quaz? He did have an aim penalty because he was inside me ECM. Which is nice. So this, this is actually protecting my Lance from him. So it's a really cool little... Uh... Cool thing. Uh, do I want to go for the front of the Cattle Master? Yeah, sure. I'm using a lot of my mortars. Um... We got a lot of rounds left. Yeah, sure. I should be a little bit conservative with him because it is eight rounds per shot that I'm shooting right now. I probably should be a little bit more conservative with him. Uh, I don't care about the heat, so I can just run through it. I was going to say, should I jump over it to avoid the heat, but it doesn't really affect me, does it? Tree line is going to worsen my aim a little bit, but I think this is fine. Still really good aim. It's a shame that they're the Intex. Like, the Intex are a good thing, but it's also it's lowering their damage output quite significantly. Oh, that was really unfortunate. We only got the arm. Uh, that's without line of sight. We do have sensors, which is good. Yeah, what are you rocking? Uh, you just got no benefits. Okay, that's fine. We can we can roll with that. Was that a head hit? No side. I thought that was a head hit for a second. Then looked a bit high. Uh, I'm not going to hyper laser this. I don't think there's a point in it. I'm going to save that for the important moments. 
Good hits. Yep, side door saw pop. Lovely stuff. Oh, you have an engine fuel cell. Wow, I've not seen one of those be used in the wild. Okay, good return fire. You're pretty well armoured, right? Oh, I hit the arm. It's only got a medium on it. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, he could walk forward and then shoot. I didn't think about that. I went too far back. I'm going to save the rockets. <sighs> Double 67 miss. Okay. This guy should really be dead. I got really unfortunate with the back attack and things off. Nice, 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 nice. He's still inside the ECM, which is probably messing them up a bit. Oh, you can't actually jump jet up on this rock. Normally you can stand on like this top bit, but like this one isn't one of those. So the only back attack there is, is there. There's no other back attack. I guess I could go do it from back here. It's blocked. It's out of ECM range as well. I mean, if it's blocked anyway, I might as well go there. Oh, but then I lose an evasion. No, I'll go there then. ECM back on passive. He's outside the range anyway. It's hitting like every different location. We finally hit the CT though, which is important. And the ballistic is jammed. Which is big. Okay, move two. That restabilizes me. I am on rough terrain though, but I should be okay. That should be CT open. Yeah, because we hit that side torso. How much health are you on? Probably like 15. Air Bear should take care of that. There we go. They changed the animation for that. That looks way cooler. Uh, yeah, let's get you off the top. Let's try and get everyone around over here now then. Front armor. I mean, there's no, there's no reason why I shouldn't be shooting. Uh, can I get any evasion? Not really. Am I willing to stand still? I have a lot of armor. He's only got a medium laser. As the AC5 is jammed. <laughs> there we go, very nice. Yeah, the AC5 unjammed. That zoom in means it unjammed anyway. Um. I'm actually going to reserve the vehicle. I want to try and save the ammo. Swordsman can't make it, so you're going to go this way. You're still reserving. Treb. Yeah, start working your way down. I'm fairly confident in my Spectre. Got a Sarge. Oh, I actually can't get over there. What if I jump? Ooh, okay. 
Good job I did reserve then. Um, I don't think the air burst can do enough. I could blow off the leg potentially though. Do the air burst first and see what happens. Oh, he's moving. Actually, that's fine as well. Uh, if I get line of sight, the aim should get better. <clears throat> it's a block shot, but the aim does go up. I do slightly less damage. And this is the full health side, unfortunately. The AC5 is in that arm, though. If I rip off that arm, we're looking pretty good. Misses, misses. Ammo explosion. Last shot. That was fairly lucky. Okay. Um. Right. I don't want to trigger just yet. Also, where is the? It wants us to go. Where does it want us to go? Over here. So it wants us to go over here. Yeah, I'll wait a turn. I want to get my guys at least on like this area here. Expect to move this way. Because um, a lance instantly spawns as soon as I trigger this. <clears throat> I would like to put Quaz on this ridge line, but I don't think he can traverse it that well. Oh, that actually really hurt my throat. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter where you are, as long as they, as long as they don't spawn here. He's kind of okay where he is. Let's get everyone moving. And you can trigger. Right, enemy lance. They didn't spawn in line of sight. Let's move you first. Nothing spawned? Oh, I've never had enemies not spawn on this uh, part of the mission. I guess I'll go back here just to make sure the convoy can move. Gotta make it that far. So they can make it to the end of this path. That's fine. Make sure the convoy stays together. Got a not terrible convoy, actually. Yeah, there's no enemies, so we've actually got kind of a free ride to the extract. For now. Unless some herbies are piled up at this back hill. I doubt it, but... Who knows? Uh, you just go there, that's fine. I want to get that more technical on this hill. Can I cut through? Is that allowed? I could just cut straight over this. Let's try it.
distance from route. I, I'm like on the border of distance from route, but I should be going onto that route soon. Slightly too far. Okay. Might work, actually. It actually worked. What a shortcut. That saves a lot of time in this situation. So I would have had to go all the way around. Putting up the hill actually works nicely. Oh, you have variable targeting. Interesting. Okay, I need to be scared of the goblins a little bit more. Variable targeting gives them actually not awful accuracy. Swordsman. Spectre. I don't know if the technical can go up this hill. Because quite a few times I've had enemies spawn here. Which is what I'm worried about. Let's just bring him back, that's fine. I've never had them spawn down here. I've had them spawn over here though. Let's spin round a bit. Swordsman moving forward, Spectre moving forward. More technical, top of the hill? Yeah, sure, that sounds good. Right, move there. And then make it next turn. I don't think they can, it might be like another turn, annoyingly. I was hoping to get it done this turn. Some of them can make it this turn. I don't think that back one can. I don't think Goblin can. <clears throat> Let's find out. Uh, where's Goblin? Can you make it? No, you can't. Just before. Okay. Right. Now that I know that, I know there's going to be another turn. I keep facing like this way. I don't know if they can spawn behind me. I don't think they can. There is always a chance. You go there. Everybody just before the escort zone. I guess I can trigger it this turn. I guess there's no harm in it. I probably should have triggered it with someone a bit tankier, though. Ooh, they did spawn behind. Wow, I've never had them spawn there before. Let's have a lot going dealing with. We've got a Clint. Uh, we've got a AC-20. Okay, got to be a bit careful of that. Anything else? Probably two more up there that we just can't quite sense yet. Is my back towards them? No. Is your back? Uh, your flank is. We should be fine to reserve spam. As scary as that is against an AC-20. You can no longer move, because that's just how the game works. It's smart for me to reserve with you. I want them to move. You got mind dispensers? 
Oh, you need actual visuals. Um, yeah, I can't throw them over there. I guess. Hey, the Guam. Two eye. Light flamer carrier. That's nasty. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, that's my reaction to that flamer. Oh, we are reserving. We are waiting. Okay, he barely moved. That is a very good sign. Yep, double engine crit. So his he's got barely any move. The problem is he's in a very awkward place. Drifting very hard to hit. How's it going now, Deguan? Hope you're doing well. I wish I was going to say, I wish I could get some height, but I actually can't. It's a block shot, but it should be enough to kill. Just in from work. Ooh. Hopefully it was a decent day at work. Hopefully nothing too, uh, too crazy. 27. Yeah, that's not good enough. I'm really scared about that AC-20. As long as it doesn't hit the head... It can kind of hit anywhere else, though. Sixty-one percent. The high place has done me good so far. Please don't crit. Okay, first crit. We can no longer use it. That's fine, though. It did good work. I really can't be mad. I'm quite surprised you're not unsteady, though. Granted, you've only got two evasion, so it doesn't really matter. And with that, we can fire two volleys of rockets. That should be more than enough to kill. Just the lasers might have been enough to kill. Okay, one laser missed. There we go. Yeah, sadly you're far away now. I kind of guessed it would spawn here and it gets wrong, so the mortar technical's out of commission for a while. Unless you can just just scrape into range if they move forward. Oh, that's the vehicle. Um, oh, big yawn. My apologies. Oh, we got a hit. Right, so that's... They should now be evac in this turn. I legit just had a flashback to MechWarrior 5 yesterday. Oh, that's exactly how you're feeling? Yeah. My weeks, like, this week's been really weird for me. I've been getting woke up by just, like... Like... <clears throat> what, like one day was our neighbours, one day was uh, someone in my house just making a bunch of noise. Today we had, like, some work being done on the front of the house that I didn't know about. And I just heard like hammering on the front of the house. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Pretty much shut out of bed. Had a look and they're just like fixing the, uh, like the, they're just like checking the front, uh, wooden part of our house. Make sure it was fine. I was like, Jesus Christ. I, I didn't know what was happening. So I just thought someone was like bang, like smashing down the walls or something. Proper shit me up. 
But yeah, like, every day this week, I've been like, woke up like, a little bit early, only like, a couple of hours early. So it's not like, it's not much, but it's kind of like, built up. Yeah, that okay. you up, yeah, like, it, I rocketed up, I was like, what the fuck? Oh yeah. Okay, wield APC. You can just stay still, right? Oh, you can't even turn. That's the annoying bit. I probably should have used them as armor. Actually, if I didn't evac with them, if I left one outside the zone, they would have actually prioritized the vehicle. But now I've got to deal with an AC-20 that I can't see. Well, that's an, I think that's a rocket commando. Right, here we go. Left arm. That's fine, just a medium laser. I kind of knew it was going to hit. But, this is what it is. As long as we loot a medium laser after this mission, we are perfectly fine with that. Oh, double laser miss. How about the rockets? Ooh, and that's got like five health left, if that. One. Typical. Fucking typical. Wait! How do rockets that do four damage? Do an odd number. I guess it already had some damage? Must have already had some damage. It can get in range! I was right! Wow, I said that as kind of a joke. That was like pure copium. Um, it makes more sense to do this one, because one splash damage is more than enough. Come on. There we go. No one will ever shit talk that Toyota ever again. Yeah, I'm fairly sure those are incendiary rockets, if I remember correctly. Back attack. Um, your back attacks so far have been really lackluster. And nobody can really follow up on them. So I guess it makes more sense to go for the flank. Oh, wait, the flamer vehicle, though. I don't want to go too close to that thing. Let's let them go first. Look at that. That chunky boy. Right, so I can't use the hyper laser because it is already crit. Wait, I thought it being crit makes it more likely to crit itself. I guess not. Okay, good expulse. Ah, oh, we hit turret cap. Maybe not. That was a shit expulse. Um, you need to just do a normal move. You need to restabilize. We could brace. God, that AC-20 ripped through my left arm. Oh, right, it was the arm that got hit by the AC-5 at the start of the mission. That's why it got ripped off. And did so much. That makes sense. Yeah, because we got, we got hit by... Was it the pirate AC-5? From the Clint? Pretty sure it was. Okay, well, we can use the jump at least. Probably not a good use, but it'll do. Yeah, attacker jumps plus three. Well, you are to be enraged at the flamer. 
Uh, no, I don't think so. If it moves forward, it might. Or it is a strong term. It's just a few guys in the back of a Toyota throwing grenades. I'm not too worried about the quads being hit by the flamers. Unless they all hit, and then, then I've got a problem. But this thing sinks like so much heat. Okay, we hit the front this time. At least we're hitting. Yeah, just out of range for now. Let's reserve. <clears throat> okay, you shooting your rockets? I'm fairly sure those are rockets. I can't tell until we actually have sensors on them. They're thumping hand grenades down the race video. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's that, it's that kind of thing, isn't it? That pretty much sums up the periphery, though. Ooh, okay, there we go. Those are the hits we were looking for. Was that both on the flank as well? Perfect. Okay, sprints. And your accuracy is appalling. The swordsman is definitely the worst mech we've got in the field right now. Like, never mind, I'll stop shit talking. But its speed is really poor, the firepower is eh, the accuracy is eh. The inheritor start sucks, gotta say. I'm a bit worried about doing this. Eat your words. Yeah, no, right. I didn't even finish saying them. And he shoved them back in my mouth. Oh, they are normal. Okay, so these are just Inferno SRMs then. Come on, give me the sweet CT. I think we got all over. Yes, we did. You can actually see him from there. Do airburst friendly fire. I don't think I've used mortars since I've changed my um Looks like they aim for it, but it looks like they don't hit. Okay. Okay, I can no longer get your back as easily. Right, Quaz, you're going that way. <sighs> Treb, you go this way. I don't want to leave the Spectre by himself. Swordsman. Oh, you can actually make it. Very nice. Accuracy is just appalling, though. That AC5 has been connecting now. I really can't complain. I am doing, but I really shouldn't be complaining. Right, so you got open side. That makes me think airburst is the way to go. Even get some crits. Okay, last one, give us a couple of crits. Very nice. Obviously, been a bit more than heat sinks, but I guess there was nothing in there. Did you fail sensors? No. One percent chance to kick. 
that will go up by plus five, so they'll actually be like 40% chance to hit. Hey Nick, how's it going? Okay, that's big. Uh, that must we must have got into his arm then. Ooh, the commander, the two eye. I don't know what the two eye has on it. I guess we'll find out. That's the hurricane last night. Still have power, so all good. Ooh, nice. Glad to hear. Man, I'm glad that the UK doesn't have to worry about that stuff. If UK had a hurricane, the whole place would get swept up. Okay, so they want basically all the mech parts. Uh, I do want to be friends with Augurin, so just for that, I'll take it. Not a worthy trade. Oh, a full Cloudbuster. Inferno Payload, okay. Our favorite is notorious for. Oh, so it's supposed to have rocket launcher tens. I was right. Mortar carrier. Oh, they gave us extra mortar carrier parts. Ah. Huh. Do we replace the Toyota? I think we replaced the Toyota. Oh, wait, that's the flavor carrier. Hold on. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. They should actually mix. I see now. I see what happened. Because they're both carriers, they should actually mix. <clears throat> oh, no, we actually got all five parts. <clears throat> yeah, we actually got all five parts. So it doesn't matter. Uh, flak is tempting. Hmm. Go over in Feb. I won't call it a hurricane. Although it did destroy, it actually destroyed a few of my fences. So I guess it was more than just a wind. I guess we'll go with that. Yeah, looks good to me. Oh wait, I did want to get medium lasers, didn't I? Oh, that annoys me. Because if I don't take these, we have nothing to replace the swordsman's arm with. Oh, that actually pains me. Ten heavy flamers. Please give me the flak. Everything but. All right, sell those, sell those, sell them. I doubt I'm going to use a 105. We've got some SRM 4s, that's nice. Uh, cool. Good parts overall, though. Like Tropical Storm, it's far enough away. Still chances for more. Ooh.
Well, hopefully the storms aren't too bad overall. Like I'm, I'm one of those where like I'm, I'm a big fan of storms as long as no one gets hurt. But like when it comes to, like stormy weather, I fucking love that shit. Well, I know that like it's quite dangerous, so.